Have you ever worked a 60 hour week? Do you wonder what it's like? Come with me. I will show you the way. Hey guys, for the next 12 days, I'm gonna check in at the end of my day on video and we're gonna review the day, how it went, and you'll see me progressively getting more tired and burned out. I'll talk about what occurred at work and maybe I'll throw in a tip each day. I'll try to keep it short and sweet, maybe 30 seconds. So that's this video. If you're interested, check it out. I'm an electrical maintenance technician. Today was actually day three. I thought of this on the job today. And uh, the tip for the day is if you have a 24 volt sensor where the wire gets cut and you have to splice in some new cable, always pull the fuse. You don't even have to shut down operations. Just pull that fuse out so you can splice or replace the sensor. Whenever you have a cut wire, stop and think, wait, is the wire that I'm working on hot? And you wanna go to the side that's you know closer to the panel if you cut into it again or strip the wires or put on a butt's place you might have a short circuit anyway so today was pretty good um i had to do some robot work one of the robotic arms had an issue so i had to look through the discrete inputs on that i also had to make a minor modification in plc logic and then i had a, a bad sensor that i had to work on but other than that it was a lot of pms and just making sure the plant ran smoothly so this is day three Check it out guys, I'm just gonna check in real quick at the end of each day, I'll get progressively more tired. I'm not that tired, I did 12 yesterday, eight the day before, eight today. So that's the video, watch it if you're interested. Thank you. All right people, end of day four, it was a good day. We ran most of the day without downtime. I, uh, you know, helped out a mechanic with one of his projects. Sometimes you have the electrical guys, you know, chip in for safety reasons and he needed someone to operate a device while he checked it. So I did that. We had a funky alarm that I needed to do in some investigation through the PLC with. And then I had another uh, failure that I actually caught. So I saved the company some downtime. My performance was pretty good today. Not super amazing. I could have improved a few things, but I, I learned some stuff and I had a productive day. I'm not that tired. I worked eight and a half today. I'm doing well. I was also able to go out with the family, buy some clothes for the baby, and uh, get some Japanese food at the mall. So day four is a success. Let's see. Hmm. Tip of the day. Set your pride aside when you're trying to figure out something. You know, be respectful of everyone. Ask for help when you need it. That's the tip of the day. Thanks, guys. Another random tip, get you one of these, so last forever, don't lose it. What's up guys, end of day five, I had a very interesting day today, no PLC, uh, troubleshooting, but it was a wild day, I started writing down everything I did, but I just, I stopped after a while, just a lot of weird one-off odd things, um, loose wires, broken sensors, um, I, working in industrial maintenance, sometimes you see some wild stuff. I, unfortunately, I can't really go into details just because, you know, I work for a corporation. I don't want to put too much stuff out there, but I, I witnessed some pretty wild shit today and uh, it was definitely an interesting day. Industrial maintenance is always different. So you never know what you're going to get. No PLC stuff today, a little bit of robots some wiring issues, some process issues, some big failures, a um, lot of like just helping out the team, not even really doing electrical duties. Um, it's always something different. So it was definitely a very interesting day. Uh, there's another senior tech that works with me. He helped me out a lot. He showed me some stuff. So I had a lot of fun today. Very interesting day going into the weekend. Tip for the day, mechanical stuff can be just as dangerous as electrical stuff. Uh, most people, when they start out, obviously the main hazard you want to watch out for is electrical. Um, until you get good at it, work really slow and follow all the safety practices. But mechanical issues are more scary, in my opinion. You know, you're working with the gearboxes, chains, high pressures, uh, high heats, rotating machinery. And be careful. 
always be careful around mechanical stuff. Don't take shortcuts when it comes to safety because people do get injured and people do die on the job. And if you follow the safety protocols, you will not get hurt. So just make it a habit to follow the safety protocols. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on day six. What's up, guys? End of day six. I actually got home and took a quick nap. I just woke up. I'm pretty tired. Uh, it's the weekend. We were installed some stuff, uh, replacing parts that were damaged. There was some wiring work. I had a guy helping me who was a little less experienced, so I taught him some stuff. Um, also had to do a couple maintenance calls throughout the day. Nothing super complicated. Um, but yeah, just some pre-planned maintenance. Uh, discussed it with engineering yesterday and executed it today. It was a real good day. I checked my step counter. I did six miles of walking today. Running around like a madman all day. A little bit tired. Um, going out to see some music here in a little bit. So yeah, luckily I'm still keeping on keeping on. Things are good. Not burnout out yet, but I'm starting to get a little tired. And uh, it's technically my Wednesday, end of day six out of 12. So we're halfway there. And uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks. Okay, people, day seven. I got home like two hours ago and uh, forgot to make the video. God, it was a hard day. Uh, I didn't even have my phone on me most of the day, so I didn't do a step counter, but I just, man, I am exhausted. I'm getting leg cramps now. I got dehydrated. I overdid it. Uh, tip of the day, take your breaks. You know, you start getting flustered and, you know, when you're doing maintenance work and working on stuff, you can get overexcited and, you know, you get adrenaline pumping and the next thing you know, you're like working while you should be resting uh don't do that if you're an electrical maintenance tech instrument tech automation tech any of those jobs people really aren't going to pressure you that much if you want to take a break take a break i have no one but to blame but myself anyways uh did some electrical work i did some more installations um had some tricky ergonomics and environments that i was dealing with it was a pretty rough day um my whole body's tired and uh yeah i messed up a little bit did get paid double time today so uh i crunched the numbers in my head i if we're looking at i think i worked 60 hours this week or 61 sunday's double time so I, in 61 hours I, if i was getting paid all straight time the equivalent i think was like 76 hours or something like that so i almost got paid double what I would get paid for 40 hours for 61 hours, if that makes sense. I'll put some information on the screen, but yeah, man, we're halfway there coming up on Thursday or, you know, week two going into Monday. I got like 20 hours till my next shift. So I'm pretty pumped about that. But yeah. Tip of the day, man, when you start feeling burnout, just stop working and take a break, drink some water because you're not helping anyone, especially yourself. You're going to become less efficient. I, de I definitely, I'm dealing with some burnout right now, but I'm starting to feel a little better. Just took a shower, you know, rested for a minute. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep it moving. You know, I don't sit at home, I, I go, go, go. So I'm just gonna keep this train moving. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you tomorrow. What's up guys? It's Tuesday morning. I forgot to make an update last night. I got home and I was pretty tired. Uh, yesterday was a better day. It was unbelievably hot. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. Um, but it went pretty smooth. I'm trying a few troubleshooting deals, but nothing too crazy. It was a pretty easy day. Um, again, it was real hot. We had a pretty smooth day. A couple items came up. Um, the cool thing about doing electrical maintenance, specifically like automation and instrumentation is you tend to not really do the same thing every day it's always just random different stuff um but yeah and my tip for anyone getting into industrial maintenance electrical maintenance automation instrumentation my tip of the day is if you can't find a job you're not looking looking hard enough and i truly mean that i've never had anyone reach out to me and say they can't find a job and I'll help you look. Hit me up on LinkedIn. The jobs are out there. You can find them. 
I challenge anyone that can't find a job, message me on LinkedIn, I'll help you find one. So that's the tip of the day. If you say you can't find a job, you're not looking hard enough. Catch you guys at the end of the shift today. Hey guys, quick update. It is the end of day 10 or no, uh, no, it's day nine. It's Tuesday. Today went really smooth. Uh, I, okay. It was like the second hottest day of the year today, randomly. And, uh, my supervisor gave me more than usual. So I had some PMs to do. Um, I had a repair to do. Been there's kind of a lot today and I did a good job pacing myself um, on a big busy day and a hot day. You got to, you got to like work and then slow down, work and then slow down. And I think I executed that pretty good today. And overall, I just feel like it was a good day. I'm proud of my performance. I, I did a lot and I had a good time. It was, it was a nice day. Um, tip of the day when you're wiring terminals, not motor leads, stick wires, just like 14 gauge or 16 gauge wires in a, in a electrical control panel like PLC wiring, stuff like that. You don't have to over torque the terminals, just like a little bit of tension, you know, hand tight, get it snug. You don't wanna crank it down, you know, damage the terminal, it, it will pop loose. Just get it nice and snug and then give those wires a nice, nice hard tug and make sure they're in there securely. You don't have to over crank thin little wires in a terminal strip. So that's the tip of the day. We got three more days to go. Um, I feel refreshed and recharged. Um, things have been going well at home, even though I'm working every day, we're finding a balance and staying busy outside of work and things are going real well. Catch you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, it's Wednesday. I just finished my 10th day in a row. It went pretty good today. I had a couple of repairs, different stuff than what I'm used to. Um, electrical maintenance, automation stuff, you gotta you know, be willing to Google, willing to read some owner's manuals, use your knowledge and skills mixed with whatever's in front of you to make it work. So that's what I did. It was like a medium busy day. Today was one of the hottest days of the year, but I performed, I think I performed pretty well and uh, I didn't overdo it either. I feel pretty good. Me and the wife, the family, we're doing real good. Um, I'm enjoying my free time when I'm not at work. I'm not super burnt out. Things are going great. Day 10, two more days, then I get a three-day holiday weekend. Uh, tip for the day, difference between a switch and a sensor. Today, I uh, was playing around with a vacuum switch. This one actually tells you the pressure in KPA, kilopascals, on it. So when you pull a vacuum, it will tell you how many pas kilopascals of uh, gauge pressure there is. So in this case, it's like a negative. So it's telling you how many KPA there is, let's say like 10. Uh, for a sensor, that sensor would communicate to a device or a PLC, it would say, hey, we got 10 KPAs, and it would do that by sending a analog percentage signal, either zero to 10 volts. Let's say it's at 10%, 10 KPA is 10%, if it's a 100 KPA sensor. If it's a sensor, it'd send a, 10% of the analog signal. So, you know, if it's zero to 10 volts, it would send one volt into an analog input. If it's four to 20 milliamps, that would be 5.6 milliamps it would send. That's a sensor, an analog sensor. And a switch just says yes or no. In this case, it was a switch. So I set it and said, hey, if it's uh, above 10 kPa, send 24 volts. If it's below, send zero volts, on off discrete input yes or no ones and zeros that's a tip for the day two more days if you guys are still watching i really appreciate it next video is going to be a real technical video but uh yeah if you're still watching i appreciate you guys see you tomorrow all right guys quick update thursday day 11 it's actually the next day i didn't take a video last night it was a good day a couple random faults um had a overload trip, a big false alarm. We thought it was going to be a big issue, but I, I just tightened up the wires and didn't have any other issues on that. A um, couple uh, small process issues. Cleaned off two photo eyes slash realigned them. And then just normal daily checks. Um, yeah. 
Tip for the day, every motor starter circuit has some sort of overload. Usually it's a current overload, like a heater on the actual starter or contactor. Um, sometimes in that the circuit that's used to energize the contactor, AKA starter, there will be an overload that can interrupt the circuit. It's usually on the neutral side of the coil. Sometimes there are internal temperature switches inside of the actual motor and those can be included in that circuit as well. So make sure you're looking at your circuit diagram or just be aware of that. There's sometimes more than one overload, overload device that can interrupt the circuit. One more day, I'm super pumped. Today's Friday, then I got a three day weekend. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, day 12, the day's over. The long period of consecutive work is over and uh, it was a pretty easy day. And then the last two or three hours of the day got pretty complicated, a lot of running around. It was extremely hot today. I don't know what's going on, really hot week. And I think today was the worst. Um, we shut down operations at the end of the day, so I had to go around and turn off and lock out a bunch of different machines. Uh, we did have some issues pop up with some, there was one device that we don't really use very often that wasn't working. I ended up having to kind of reseat all the stuff, like just kind of wiggle fuses around and snug up wires and pull the relays out and put it back in. I don't know what was going on with that. And, uh, I'm trying to remember. There's just a, a lot of different things, but most of them had to do with shutting stuff down and resetting faults and starting stuff up and things like that. Oh, I uh, calibrated a bunch of thermocouples also. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, I do this at least once a month. I work 12, 12 days in a row um, at my current job. Um, I might start doing it every other <laughs> week if that makes sense, like take two weekends off a month. I know it's, it's kind of a lot, but I'm trying to save up and buy a house. Um, fortunately I'm in a position where I have a job where overtime is 100% optional. Um, the company I work for is pretty sweet. It's a pretty new job. I'd like it. It's a lot of, you know, I'm learning robots. That's new for me. And, um, it's a good job. High, very technical, very intelligent people that I work with. I would say the people that I'm working with right now are more intelligent, more knowledgeable um, than what I'm used to overall, including like all the operators and stuff, all the operators that work in my building because it's an automated plant, they all make good money. Um, all the operators are around 30 an hour plus. So yeah, it's a really cool um, job, you know, and um I don't know. I'm grateful for it. I know I'm kind of rambling, but anyways, that's the video. I don't know what the tip is today. Just be careful. Just be smart. Be careful. You know, follow the rules and, um, you know, enjoy your career. That's the tip for the day. Um, I appreciate you guys watching my channel. I'm, you know, I'm trying to stay more consistent with it. I'm doing okay. I'm getting a video out every month or so. And like I said, I think the next one, I'm going to make a tutorial on the, you know, basically how to check a motor um electrically you know i have a control panel and a, some various parts i'll wire up a three-phase motor and we'll go through that but um yeah guys I'm, i don't know what else to say but i really appreciate you guys and uh i'll catch you next time thanks